Hello, party people. Somewhere I belonged, past sense. Um, I was born in Bridgeport, Connecticut, when, um, when it was a lot different place than it is now. Nowadays, nowadays it's a little bit, bit better, but um, throughout the 80s and uh, part of the 90s, um, I was born in 1984, just to let you know. Um, so I'll just come. I'll just come out and say, um, I wasn't black enough for the black kids. Uh, for the most part, most of my elementary school part of middle school friends were um, they're all black. Um, every once in a while, there would be a uh, Puerto Rican or Latino person. Um, then, then uh, my family and I moved to Milford. I'll just come out and say it, and uh, I wasn't white enough for the white kids. And some time had passed, and um, you know, I went to school in Boston. As we all know, Boston is a uh, international and college city as well. So I met a lot of different people. But did I ever feel like I belonged in a certain group? Maybe a little bit, but. They say the friends you make, like freshman year, become your friends for the rest of college, for even longer. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the case with me, but uh, but um, somewhere during that, so somewhere during the parts of that, I started playing this game. Right, it was called Guild Wars. Um, I did not play Guild Wars 2. I heard a lot of decent, decent things about it. Not necessarily extraordinary or, you know, outstanding, but I'm not sure if any of the people I associated with in Guild Wars 1 went to Guild Wars 2. I, I, I don't know. Um, at the time, I was I think I was only concerned whether my, whether my laptop or my desktop um, was able to run it or not. And uh, uh, this sounds like a cheesy story, but um, I met my first girlfriend through Guild Wars, uh, and she was like in Minnesota or something, and uh, we met up in Chicago, and uh, you know, like stuff happened, and like. To be honest, yeah, that was the first time, quote unquote, stuff happened. That's why for the both of us, and that's why. That's why uh, I remember that game so fondly. But uh, I guess I guess that's extra extraneous. But in Guild Wars One, like um, in our alliance, our quote unquote alliance, uh, in the guild, uh, did I feel like I belong? Yeah. I feel like that was the first place I ever belonged was talking to these people on vent or something and like Ventrilo for you that don't know um I I never knew what they looked like. I only recognized them by their voice. And it was it was crazy. Um But then when college was over, uh university was over, um I, a long period of time had passed and part of me just stopped caring about stuff like that. Um, I'd like to think over the years, especially during the pandemic, that that um, that, my, that I felt like my, my media family knew that um, I was starting to feel like I belong there. But just the, di the differences we have and the differences we share, I think they know. I, I, I don't belong here. I think they know that. <clears throat> I, sometimes I feel like the only reason I was still here is because I can be helpful to some members of the family. I'm not fucking sure. Then I started playing this game called Genshin Impact. And did I did I meet friends through it? Yeah, 
yeah, I'm a friend of spirit. Um, do we still talk to each other? No. Um, we, uh, I think a bunch of them quit the game. I guess they were tired of spending money and not getting the, uh, the results or the product that they wanted. Uh, I met a lot of people through PlayStation. And, um, so it wasn't an issue of me, right? Having more trophies than everyone else combined. Um, it's, it was just um, our our game ended. Uh, many games ended where well, I don't want to say ended, but you know, um, uh, they uh, basically I don't want to say we got the platinum and just left, but um, it was just it what it is what it is and um, where it was what it was. Um, you know, people just people just drift apart. I guess I'm not sure. Um, you know, people start their own families, people move, people get tired of games, or like certain games. Um, but yeah, since then, uh, not much has changed since I moved back to Milford. In Vegas, I honestly think, as dysfunctional as it was, um, I thought my girlfriend at the time and I, we... We feel like, we felt like we belonged with each other, and um, of course we had mutual friends there, and you know our own friends like me from work or her from work, you know work friends or work uh, spouses. I mean, w would I change anything if I had to do it again? Maybe maybe a couple of things. Um, I uh, I do. Um, I miss I miss that sense of belonging. Yeah, um, uh, I I think I had it during Guild Wars as well, Part One. Um, I think people are still playing Part Two, which is crazy to me. Um, now now I'm intrigued. You know, like, should I pick that game up? Um. It's it's probably a bad idea. It's probably a bad idea. Um, it would be great to get in contact with some of my old friends though from from the guild and from the alliance. Um, yeah. So when I came back from to Milford, um, not not much has changed, and with the pandemic, a lot changed negatively. But uh, you know, go go reference some of my other videos about that. How about that? Um, I was, um, I was part of a, well, I really didn't feel like I was welcomed on Twitch until, like, cause it, there had been a, uh, many moments where I was just, um, following whoever and, um, one of them as, as you know, was Doomsday Gal and, uh, when I attempted to gain some insight through the the femboy community, um, you guys know what happened with that, and uh, that is unfortunate. Um, but like I'm, I'm still around, you know. Maybe I don't type in chat as much, but I'm still around. Uh, I am not a hard person to find. That's what you know what I'm saying. I swear, I swear, I like I go to the same places all the time. That'd be work, the gas station, <laughs> the uh, the boba store, or um, sometimes the mall. Very rarely, you know. I go to the gym occasionally. Probably not as much as I should, but I do. As much as I used to, either I can say that. So. Do I need somewhere to belong? It would be nice. Am, am I avidly looking out for that place? Not really. Um, I just... Uh, I, I would like to have that feeling again where... I was a part of something bigger. No matter what the reasoning was behind it, 
whether it was, I don't know, for like raising awareness about blah, 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 or working in the same views, blah, blah, blah. Something. A fucking video game sometimes. Um, now, I will say, I don't need to have a place I belong. But like I said, it would be nice. But hey, nothing I can do about that now. Um, Alright guys, um, I'm gonna finish my drink and uh, Army of Ruin is also on Steam with its own Steam achievements by the way guys. Am I seriously gonna go through playing this game another a third time? Possibly 100%ing it? It's hilarious man. Um, that, that game is a... Uh, it requires a lot of dedication, man. Like you're, I don't want to say you're doing the same things over and over, but you sort of are. Which I don't think is a bad thing. This is me personally. Alright. Thanks for watching us. Take care of yourselves and each other.